Hey guys, it's Mashley. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time. And if it's your first time, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So for today's video, I am finally making an art piece for my bar area. You guys know I've been kind of going through, updating a bit, and I knew I wanted some version of a texturized canvas, and I started looking at the prices. That inspired me to just make my own, if you catch my drift. To get started, you're gonna need your joint compound. We have some sponges to add some texture. I have an acrylic sealer or gloss finish, which we'll use at the end. There's some spatulas to add some texture. And of course, the actual canvas, which is a 36 by 48 inch canvas that we picked up from Michaels. All right, so we have our canvas unwrapped, went ahead and put on an apron. We got some gloves, because it's gonna get messy. We're gonna take um, probably whichever thickest spatula you have. My goal is gonna be to cover the entire canvas and joint compound first, so we'll go ahead and do that. So you guys will notice I'm kind of just putting this on in a very abstract motion. While my goal is to just cover it, I do want to start adding a little layer of texture from now to build off of later. So I have the canvas completely covered at this point. Now my part two is going to be kind of building up chunkier areas, I guess, of the joint compound so that I can come back in and texturize in those specific areas. So I got some thickness going on over here. Added some in this corner, I'll add some over here. Kind of just thicken it up so we have something to go off of and the canvas doesn't peek through as much, um, or at all, preferably. You wanna work fairly quickly too. I'm trying to get the whole thing covered so I can texturize in one shot, but I'm trying to do it before it dress. Now we can go and add the real texture. So I think I wanna start with spongy texture, so. I ended up picking up a pack of these sponges randomly one day at a home goods store, but I do believe you can buy them at um, a craft store as well. They'll come with a bunch of them. They almost look ripped up, but they worked really well to create this really cool texture on top of the drink compound. Now, my goal wasn't to cover the entire canvas in that sponge texture. I wanted some of the original spatula texture to peek through. Next, I went in with this square notch flooring trowel. I had no idea what this was called, but I went into Home Depot and I went into the spatula section with next to the compound and that's where I was able to find it. To get started on our frame, I went to Home Depot and purchased some wood. The wood I ended up buying was a 3 8 by 1 and 1 quarter. After getting my measurements for my frame, I decided to cut the ends at a 45 degree angle so that way it has a more professional look. Once all my pieces are cut, I'm gonna go ahead and sand them. Yes, this is me sanding them at natural speed. So we decided to stain our frame black only because it just went with our aesthetic in our dining room. The stain that we have here is a polyurethane and regular stain combined. So it has like a nice little gloss to it as well. While we wait for our frame to dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and seal up our plaster art. Once everything is dry, we can go ahead and put our frame together. So what we end up doing was taking each piece of the frame and nailing it to the actual canvas. I used a piece of scrap wood to get our spacing the same all the way around the frame. So how do you guys think it turned out? Go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you think I did. For me, obsessed is an understatement. I, it's the absolute perfect piece to finish out the bar area and I had an absolute blast making it. Thank you guys so much for joining us for today's video. As always, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next one.